against one of the best heavyweights in the world, Paris Francis Sirogan. And that infectious smile certainly gets wiped away on fight night, but this is a guy who absolutely enjoys competition as much as any heavyweight on this roster. Figures to have a striking advantage in this matchup and in most matchups in the heavyweight division. Most of these guys, if they have it in their repertoire, are gonna try to take him down. So what has he done? Gon's gone back to the drawing board. He has spent so much time working on his wrestling and takedown defense that he believes this brawl is gonna show up large here tonight. Enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones finds himself in yet another big spot here tonight. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bangamaya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, John. I heard being third man in the Wait, octagon for this one. Ready. Well, well, great to have Johnny Bones back in the sport and in this heavyweight division. But a lot of eyeballs on Cito Gone here tonight. His wrestling chops nowhere to be found, essentially, in those first meetings with John Jones. And he seems to have done a lot of work in advance of this rematch. Tonight. Well, he shifted. Cyril Gunn shifted right away after the John Jones fight won. How much has he improved in the areas that he needs in order to be competitive against Jones? But here, in John Jones, you have a fantastic striker and a guy that has a fight IQ that falls. Oh, me right to the melon. So the kickboxer able to stay on his feet, at least for now. This is where he wants the fight, and you got to think stuff in the first shot's going to give him some confidence. It's got to give him a ton of confidence. He said that he would be able to defend takedowns. He said that he was going to put it on this guy. But that was the first test. He's passed. Now let's see if he can continue to defend takedowns as they come in his direction. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. to the single call Look in and keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. John gets hit with a kick. Oh, big hook. That'll leave the mark. Jones going for the takedown here, but he misses. Big right hook there by 
champ. Oh, and he found the target again. Wow, what a head kick. Two minutes. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Effective punch there by Jones. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. He's got to start going down. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, big elbow. Big ground and pound. Gons looking for that arm triangle now. Now he's in trouble. that is very, very difficult to deal with. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round. Oh, big knee! All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Winklejohn told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the leg or to the body. What a sick All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the distance. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. That one was thrown to end the fight. <laughs> that one appeared to stun him. I mean, jeez Louise. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but able to get blocked them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Just over two minutes now to go. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Under a minute to go. by Jones. In a ton of trouble right now. Oh, big left hook there! Nice ball. Which way? No way. Seconds winding down in round two. He's 
right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut may will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and how about that flying knee? I mean, who does that? Who jumps off the ground and throws a knee? Who propels himself to throw a flying knee? I would never. Right. It's too dangerous. Risk versus reward. You try anything out there. But I guess that's why it's a video game. I'd probably pull a muscle or something. <laughs> I... Ready. 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 Good. Round three of a possible five. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Takedown defense holds up. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Straight right hand counter. Nice jab by Jones. Oh, big knee! level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. transition there after he was getting stunned out of it. Gone getting worked to the body by that elbow. He passed the half guard. Jones is trying for a submission here. Oh, that Von flu choke is tight. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game. And these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. These ground strikes are really starting to add up. There's another one. Thirty seconds to go here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do? to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back. All right, All right that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. Now, listen, guys. As long as it ain't like Jarzinho rolled the strike and Alistair over oh. him, you're fine. Cuts on the lip are okay unless your lip is hanging Ready off fight. like we have seen Ready. sometimes. That is yeah. not that. He's got to protect him. I got Robbie Lawler on line one, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, talk I about remember Robbie. Lip cuts. Oh, my God. I was thinking about that. I couldn't remember what it was. All right. Next round is upon us. Let's see how it plays out. All right. So here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah. You've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal.
Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Gon's really targeting that cut right now, and why not? He has opened up his... Just missed with the left there. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is... Oh! And that'll do it! Sid Ogon gets the finish! Oh, boy! We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Surreal Bogomol. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but...